Hey, it's Rusty. Thanks for tuning in to Burning Cereal. Today, a special edition. Burning Cereal is going global. Global knives, that is. The new G2. Oh, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, look at that. I heard this knife is so sharp, even in the box it can cut you. Let's put it through its paces and see how it does. So there she is. I've been waiting for one of these knives for about two years now. Finally broke out the cash and bought one. You can get it on Amazon. It's about $80 to $90. Not that bad. That's more money than I spent on my entire knife set. But now it's time to play with the big boys. First test. Let's see how it does on a pepper. Wow. That's like no pressure on it whatsoever. Let's see how thin we can get this. That's pretty thin. You can probably see my fingers through there. That's nice. All right, a little slice up. A pepper real nice. Let's see what it'll do to this onion. Wow. That is, I guess we'll call razor sharp. Let's try the dice trick. Slicing inwards on the onion and then down. Whoo, that's sharp. If you want to get a nice dice going and then you don't have to manually, oh, that butchered it. Wow, look at that. This thing is unbelievably sharp. Let's try a carrot. Wow. No pressure whatsoever. It just goes right through. I've never owned a knife this sharp. Now, a couple of tips on knives. We're all guilty of doing this, where you take your knife and you slide it across the board, pick up your food, drop it into your bowl or whatever you're using. Don't do it with good knives. If you are going to do it and you have to do it, which none of you do, use the back of the knife to do it and sweep in. I know of a few people that have swept off their ingredients off their knives and wound up cutting their hands. So don't do that. You can actually get a, like a bread cutter and use that as a scoop. This is truly an amazing knife. I'm glad that I spent the money on it. Hopefully it'll cut my slicing time down. So a couple of tips that I can give you. Once you're done using your knife, doesn't matter if it's this kind of knife or just any knife. When you're done with it, don't throw it in the sink and wash it later. Wash it, dry it, put it away. Um, a lot of my steak knives have bent tips because they just get thrown into the sink and they'll sit there banging around in the sink until I hand wash them. Don't do that. Wash it as soon as you're done. The other thing is, if you're actually going to spend money on a knife, 
spend money on a decent cutting board. Don't use these plastic ones because this will dull that knife a lot faster than it should be. So make sure that you're going to use a wood cutting board. It's a lot more forgiving than the plastic. So there you have it. This is a great knife. I highly recommend. If you're going to store it, either store it on a magnetic strip, sharp, be careful. The other thing you can do is get a sleeve for it. Put it in the sleeve. The only problem with that is it's probably going to rub on the heel on your sleeve, which means you're going to have to sharpen it or just make sure that you don't rub it against this sleeve. Other than that, be safe, be happy, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and adjust your settings so you get notified when our new videos come out. They're coming out every Tuesday and Wednesday. We appreciate you watching and have a great day. I forgot, Mike wanted me to say a whole bunch of other stuff, but I forgot what it was. So just thanks, share, like, subscribe. We'll see you next time. What? Do I have something on my face? Is it, is it over here? No? It, is it gone now? How about now? Yeah? Okay. Thanks for watching.